This is where we left off in the last video. We need to factorize this polynomial. The first step is to write the coefficient of the middle term as a sum of two numbers. We write it as x squared plus n1 plus n2 x minus 6. We basically wrote it as n1 plus n2. In this polynomial, a is 1, b is also 1 and c is minus 6. But we have a condition that says n1 multiplied by n2 equals a multiplied by c. So we write it as 1 multiplied by minus 6 which is minus 6. Think about it. Two numbers whose product is minus 6 and whose sum is 1. Let us draw a line here first to show that we are looking at two different examples. On a scratch paper, let's try writing minus 6 as a product of two numbers. Now it gets really interesting. Minus 6 can be written as 1 multiplied by minus 6. Remember, we want the sum as 1. But sum of these two numbers is minus 5. Hence, these two numbers are not n1 and n2. Minus 6 can also be written as minus 1 multiplied by 6. The sum of these two numbers is also not 1. How else can we write minus 6? We can write it as 2 times minus 3. Their sum is minus 1. So it's not even these two numbers. But wait, it can also be written as minus 2 multiplied by 3. And yes, the sum of these two numbers is 1. So finally, we get our two numbers. n1 is minus 2 and n2 is 3. Let me rewrite the polynomial. This can be written as x squared plus minus 2 plus 3 multiplied by x minus 6. Then we expand the brackets and write it as x squared minus 2x plus 3x minus 6. The next step is grouping. The first group we formed is x squared minus 2x and the second group is 3x minus 6. The first group can be written as x multiplied by x minus 2 and the second group can be written as 3 multiplied by x minus 2. And the binomial x minus 2 is common to both the terms. So we reduce the expression to x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 3. We split the coefficient of the middle term, open the brackets and factorized by grouping. If you noticed, in both the examples, the value of a is 1. This kind of factorization gets even more interesting when a is not equal to 1. We will cover that soon.